Hi, I am Amit Lunkar from Sitabai Thite College of Pharmacy, Shirur, comes with the presentation on quinolones. After completion of this presentation, learners will able to know the mechanism of action of quinolones. Let's begin with the mechanism of action of quinolones. Quinolones and fluoroquinolones shows bactericidal action by inhibiting the DNA synthesis. This effect is believed to be due to the inhibition of bacterial DNA gyrase, which is also known topoisomerase 2. This topoisomerase 2 is an enzyme responsible for introducing negative supercoils into circular duplex DNA. Negative supercoiling relieves the tensional stress of helical DNA, which facilitates unwinding and thereby allows transcription and replication to occur. Bacterial DNA gyrase is a tetrameric enzyme consisting of 2A and 2B subunits, which we encoded by the GRYA and GRYB genes. Quinolones which inhibit gyrase activity. It binds only to single stranded DNA and not to either the enzyme or double helical DNA. Due to inhibition of this gyrase activity, further tensional stress doesn't get relieved and there is a inhibition of DNA will occur and it will produce the bactericidal action. Here, I give some animation for the simplification of this mechanism of action of quinolones. In DNA replication, the replication force moves forward and there is a positive superhelical twist in the DNA which gets begins to accumulate. In here is the supercoiling. In order for replication to continue, this superhelic or supercoiling must be removed because due to that supercoiling, there is an increase in tensional stress and due to that, it must be removed. Then and then only, the replication further gets completed or occurs. The bacterial enzyme DNA gyrase, which is also known as topoisomerase 2nd is responsible for removing this positive superhelical twist or this torsional or tensional stress. Actually, this uh, DNA gyrase, which is an essential bacterial enzyme composed of 2A and 2B subunits with the products of the GYRA and GYRB genes. So, this topoisomerase second, which is responsible for removing this positive superhelical twist, so as to the DNA replication can proceed. So, here this DNA gyrase, which can be further remove this supercoiling and further replication will occurs. But here, this quinolones, which get binds to this gyrase activity and further the role of DNA gyrase, which gets inhibited. And due to that, it will be produced the bactericidal action by inhibiting the DNA synthesis. As the DNA gyrase activity, that is, activity of topoisomerase 2 is gets inhibited further this supercoiling doesn't get removed and further replication get stopped which doesn't get proceed and hence hope all of you getting thank you thank you very much and happy learning